there, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News. I'm Brendan, and this is my co-host, Kavery. Thanks for joining us today. Student Council elections are right around the corner. We've heard a bunch of you are running. That's really cool. Let's go check up with Ms. Carter and find out more. There's elections. All right. I'm Josh here with. Mrs. Carter. Tell us about the upcoming Student Council officer elections. Well, I'm glad you asked where the election is May 18th, but before you can uh, run and all that stuff, you need to pick up one of these packets. You can get them at my room or Miss Mosher's room um, anytime after school. Um, but the deadline that to turn in speeches and applications, May 6th, so make sure you pick this up before May 6th. Um, you can run for president, vice president, secretary, treasurer and an activities coordinator which is pretty cool we're pretty excited about that one um after that the elections are may 18th you're going to give a speech in front of your fellow classmates only seventh graders can um be an officer for this year but sixth graders get to watch and enjoy the process thank you the elections are May 18th. All applications and speeches must be turned in this Friday at 3.35. There's no exceptions if it's late. Speaking of SUCO, the members are going on a field trip Friday to Joyland where they will be enjoying the sun for a reward for all the hard work they've done this year. Yearbooks will be sold one last time tomorrow during lunch. There will be $40. Don't miss out. Talent show tryouts are after school tomorrow. The sign up sheets are in Miss Allison's, Miss Daniels, Miss Carter's, and Miss Pitcock's room. Go sign up, there's a little time left. And don't forget about the social studies star study session tomorrow. If you're an eighth grader and you would like to pass a star, make sure you're there. It's from 3.45 to 4.45 in the library. The last round of star tests are next week. The sixth and seventh math is on the ninth. The reading is on the 10th, and the science is on the 11th. Eighth grade social studies is on the 12th. Study hard, Tigers. Now let's check in with Gracie and find out what's going on in our weather. Hey, I'm Gracie with your weather. Here's your current conditions. You have partly cloudy, 66 degrees Fahrenheit, winds west 11 miles per hour, and 20% chance of precipitation. Here's your regional forecast. We have no rain in our area. Here's your five-day forecast. We have 80 throughout the week and no chance of rain. I'm Gracie here with your weather. Back to you. Thanks, Gracie. Now let's check out what's going on in sports. Hello, FMS sports fans. I'm Jeb, and this is Brooke. Here's a look at today's sports. The golf team played their last tournament yesterday at Big Springs. They did a great job, just like we thought they would. We'll have an interview with them tomorrow. Now let's see what's going on in pre -ath. Hi, I'm Hannah here with Tia, Cambry, Madison. What's your favorite thing about track? Field events. High jump. Running with my <laughs> What do you plan on trying out for next year? Volleyball. Basketball. Volleyball. Thank you. Hi, I'm Hannah here with Skyler, Anaya, Sydney. What is your favorite part about track right now? Hurdles. 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 What do you plan on trying out for next year? Basketball. Volleyball. Basketball, track, and volleyball. Thank you. Thanks for the interview, guys. Physicals for next year's athletes take place in a couple of weeks. May 17th is the date that is accepted. Make sure you to fill out the packets that are online. Turning to tennis news. The county tennis championship is scheduled for Saturday, May 7th. Singles play from 8 a.m. to noon. Doubles play from 1 to 5 p.m. Matches will be played at various Friendship and Lubbock locations. That's all we have to for sports. Back to you. That's all we have today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everybody have a great afternoon. We'll see you later. Until then, Tigers. Bye. Bye.